Hi everyone, konnichiwa minasan. So today we're making little jellies that look like fish ponds. So I've seen so many of these on Pinterest and I think they're so cute, so I had to try it out. These might look intimidating, but they're actually really, really simple to make. So let's get started. So first we're gonna make the little fish and what you wanna do is pour the water, milk, and powdered agar into a small pot and mix them together. Bring it to a boil and then bring it down to low heat and simmer for one to two minutes. Turn off the heat and allow it to slightly cool in the pot. Divide the mixture into two small containers. Color one half of the milk red with food coloring and then drop small droplets of the red milk into the white milk and gently swirl it around to create a marble effect. Place the container in the fridge until the jelly is fully set then remove the jelly from the container and cut it into little fish shapes using a knife or a small cookie cutter. And then just set these aside. So now we're going to make the base of the pond and what you want to do is pour the water and agar into a pot and mix it together. Set it to high heat and dissolve the agar as the water heats up. When it reaches a boil, bring the heat down to low and simmer for 3-4 to four minutes. Then add and completely dissolve the sugar and matcha powder. Pour the majority of the jelly into a 7 by 4 inch container and then pour the remaining 2 tablespoons or so into a small dish. Then place both dishes in the fridge until they're fully set. Keep the larger amount of jelly in the dish, but remove the jelly from the small dish and slice it into leaves and lily pads and set those aside. Then make small shallow slices in the jelly in the large dish and set that aside as well. Now to make the water for the pond, pour the water and agar into a pot and mix it together. Set it to high heat and dissolve the agar as the water heats up. Then like before, when it reaches a boil, bring the heat down to low and simmer for 3-4 to four minutes. Then after simmering, add and completely dissolve some sugar, mizuame and umeshu. So mizuame is like corn syrup, so if you don't have that, you can always use corn syrup. And umeshu is plum wine, and if you don't want to use alcohol, you can use apple juice instead. Then allow the jelly to cool for two minutes. Pour about a third of the water jelly into the container with the matcha jelly. Arrange some drained and rinsed beans inside the container to look like stones on the bottom of the pond. And so this might look gross adding beans to jelly, but if you rinse the beans well enough, it won't taste beany or salty at all. Then when the jelly is almost set, about three to five minutes later, pour in another third of the jelly. Then add the fish and the leaves and the lily pads, and once the jelly is almost set again, pour in the remaining jelly. Place the jelly in the fridge until it's completely set for about 20 minutes. And carefully slide the jelly out of the container and slice it into as many slices as you like, and you are done! So thank you guys so much for watching. Tomorrow's the last day of Nature Theme Week and we're making something that will look very at home in a forest. So I love you all so much and I will see you tomorrow. Bye!